Hey guys, and I guess you got another review today. Today's review is going to be of a very, very cool airsoft gun. This is the TSD Tactical SD97 Tactical Airsoft Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. It is not gas powered. You can purchase this from airsoftstation.com for about $170. And if you are looking for a sniper rifle under 200 bucks, this is it. I absolutely love this sniper rifle. It's accurate, got a very good FPS shooting over 500 feet per second, and it's just an excellent sniper rifle, so let's go ahead and get into the review of the TSD Tactical SD97. For starters, let's open up the box and see what is included when you purchase the TSD Tactical SD97 Bolt Action Sniper Rifle from AirsoftStation.com for $170. The box that your TSD SD97 will come in is pretty flashy as expected with TSD. You get a big TSD logo on top along with a black and white picture of the gun and a player using a L96, which isn't the gun, as well as various specifications down towards the bottom of the box. The sides of the box are covered with TSD VB advertisements. So let's open up this box. When you take the box top off of the styrofoam, this is what you should see, minus the fact that there will be a gun inside in two pieces. When you first purchase this product, it will require some assembly. However, just to make the review easier, we have taken out the two pieces as the gun is already assembled. Inside the box, you will have your TSD SD97 user's manual. This is pretty simplistic, it's just kind of basic stuff. It does have an okay parts breakdown of external parts over on this side right here. Other than that, it's just pretty standard things. However, it does have a special section on telling you how to properly hold the gun for all of you users who are going to hold the stock on your shoulder. Then there is a cheaper sling. However, you could probably use this considering the gun doesn't weigh as much as most sniper rifles, and the sling does feature metal attachment points. There will be a very long dejamming rod. Not one, but two 22 round magazines. A small bag of about 100 BBs. You can go ahead and use these if you want. They should be TSD, not bad quality. A white box containing your metal scope rings. A plastic bag containing a standard 110 round speed loader with a special tip allowing you to load the magazines. Various Allen keys to assemble the gun, as well as a screwdriver. As a bonus from TSD, you also receive a JBU 39x40 scope. This is a big bonus considering these scopes are actually very nice quality. And it's great that a scope is included, you don't have to buy one. And then there is your TSD SD97 bolt action sniper rifle itself. As you can see, the gun shown here is an OD green. However, you can also purchase this in black and tan for the exact same price. As you can see also, I've already added the scope up top to show you what it will look like with the included scope. And keep in mind guys, the bipod is not included. This is my own personal one. You could have to buy a bipod separately. Anyway, first impressions when you first take it out of the box, the first thing you're gonna think as you're putting it together Oh my goodness, they forgot to put in the screws so that I can solidify the body together when I'm putting it together. Uh, they didn't forget them. The screws are already inside the gun. You just have to put the Allen key in and tighten them in so that the gun will stay in one piece and not fall off while you're in a game. Other than that, first impressions, this is very, very nice. When you first pick it up, if you're me, I love the feel instantly. The quality is very, very nice on it. The build is great. has a great weight. Fits very well against your shoulder. Has a very, very comfortable stock the first time you pick it up. And honestly, if you've held as many sniper rifles as I have, this is honestly probably my favorite sniper rifle I've ever held. It's under $200. It's a very, very nice quality. First impressions, you're really going to like it. Now let's get into this review and talk a bit about the gun's external and internal construction. Externally, this gun is constructed both out of a plastic polymer material, as well as various chunks of metal. Now the whole upper portion of the gun here, including the barrel, the rail, as well as the bolt, these are constructed of metal. This included scope and scope rings are metal as well. The included bipod adapter is also metal, as well as this portion of the stock down here. Now as you can see, the entire OD portion of the gun that is of a plastic material. However, it's very good quality, very, very durable. It's not something that's going to be cheap. You're going to smack it and it's just going to shatter and fall apart. The gun's external construction is put together very, very, very well. And the only reason I can see it falling apart is if you had failed to tighten the screws correctly when you first get the gun. Otherwise, it's very, very solid. Whack it against a tree while you're in the field. Nothing's really going to happen to the gun. It does have one rubber piece, which is the butt of the rifle. Internally, this gun has a metal piston and a metal spring guy, giving you some great internals here. Again, the bolt which is cocking the gun, is metal. This gun does have a pre-upgraded spring allowing it to shoot over 500 feet per second. So externally, very, very durable gun, metal plastic components internally, metal internals. It's a very, very nice gun externally and internally. Now let's get into some of the features of the TSD SD97. A main feature of the TSD SD97 is, of course, its magazine and magazine well. Now, the magazine is located on the underside of the gun towards the front of the lower receiver of the rifle. Now, if you ever owned an L96, it's roughly the same thing as that, considering in order to eject the mag, there's a small piece of metal in the magazine well that you have to push forward in order to eject the mag. Simply push forward like so, and as you can see, the magazine will drop right out. 
Now, this magazine, as you can see, looks fairly similar to an L96 magazine, so I believe these magazines would be compatible. If you had an L96 wanted to grab this as well, the mags probably would be interchangeable. This magazine is part metal, part plastic, metal portion being down here, and this push-down piece is constructed of plastic. The magazine holds a total of 22 rounds, and when you purchase the gun sold by TSD, it will include two 22-round magazines, so that's a bonus right there. These magazines have not had any feeding issues with them. You do need that special tip on your speed loader in order to be able to load them with a speed loader. If you lose a tip, you do unfortunately have to load it by hand. These magazines are fine, very good quality. In order to put it in, simply push it underneath the gun and hear it lock into place. At that point, your magazine is in, you're capable of firing the BBs inside of it. A unique feature of the TSD SD97 is its butt right here. As you can see, the stock is sort of adjustable. You can adjust the length, make it shorter, make it longer, to help with your comfort while you're shooting the gun. So if you have long arms, you want to get a better view of the scope, you can either shorten or lengthen this small gap here. Now in order to shorten it, simply got to turn this metal wheel here to the left. As you can see, butt is coming closer to the actual rifle. If you wanted to lengthen it, simply turn the wheel to the right. This will cause the butt to go farther away from the rifle. So that's a nice feature if you're worried about your comfort and you don't want something that's going to be stuck at the same length the whole time you want to extend it, you want to shorten it. Another feature of comfort is the butt of the gun. As you can see, it's equipped with a very nice rubber padding here. This is very comfortable. And as you can also see, there's a small sort of rubber tail right here. You're probably wondering what's that for. It's honestly for what I've noticed it does is when the stock is against your shoulder, this sort of tail slips into your armpit. And if you're wearing BDUs, it really gets hooked in there, so it gives you a bit more stability when shooting the gun, so the stock's less likely to slip off your shoulder, or if you're running, it's less likely to come out of position due to the fact that this small little tail has dug its way in, twisted itself in the cloth of your BDU. So in my opinion, the little tail has actually really helped. It gives you a lot better stability on the gun. Plus, it just adds a little bit of coolness looking to the gun. So comfortable is definitely the definition of the stock here, considering it allows you to lengthen or shorten the gun. And the rubber padding is just another great thing with comfort. It's a, lot, it's a lot better to have your shoulder on rubber rather than a hard, tough plastic. Now, a major feature of the gun, so this is bolt action, you're going to need to cock it each time, is, of course, the metal bolt. As you can see, it's right here. The bolt is not hard to pull back at all. As you remember, we took a look at the A and K SVD Dragon on, that bolt was terribly hard to pull back, and it was shooting around 500 feet per second. This gun is shooting a little bit over 500 feet per second, and it's a very, very easy bolt to pull back. All you have to do is set your hand around it, and pull back like so. As you hear, it'll click in, push forward, push down, and you are capable of firing. Sorry if it looked like it was a little tough for me, it's just I'm sitting down and it's kind of hard to do. But hold, it's very, very easy to pull back. Hear that click, push forward, release, and fire. So the bolt on this gun, very, very nice. Not tough at all to pull back here in the standing position, ready to shoot. It's a lot easier than that AMK Dragunov, and that's why a lot of people were asking me, is this better than the AMK Dragunov? In my opinion, it is just because of the bolt on the gun. The gun does include a metal bipod adapter, tri-rail, whichever you prefer to call it, that can be placed on the front of the gun. This allows you to, of course, as you can see, mount a bipod. Again, this bipod is not included, or any other accessory you wanted to put on the front, considering it does have three rails. One on the side, one on the bottom, and one on the opposite side allowing you to mount not only a bipod on the bottom piece, however, a laser and a flashlight on both sides if you're playing some Milsim scenario operations. In my opinion, this tri-rail, they included it. It's a great bonus considering you don't have to go out and spend six, nine dollars to buy one. TSD typically includes items to sweeten the pot for roughly the exact same price. In this case, as with most of the sniper rifles they sell, they do include a very nice scope here. This Again, this is a JB Unicorn International 3x9x40 magnification scope. It's very nice quality. Look through it. It's crystal clear. You sight this thing in and you'll be able to hit basically any target with your gun as long as they are in your range and you're using the correct BB weight. It includes the metal scope rings as well so you don't get to go out and buy them when you get the scope. And that's just a great bonus. If you don't like the scope it comes with, it does feature a 20mm rail up top so you can switch whatever scope you want up there. But for $170 you are getting this very, very nice scope included in the package. And it's great quality. It's not a piece of junk as with a lot of scopes that other companies include. The gun does feature sling mounts on the front and rear of the sniper rifle on both sides as well. Another nice feature of this gun is its adjustable cheek rest. When I first got it put the scope on, I was like, oh, this is very nice. However, then I realized, well, the cheek rest is all the way down here. My head's looking into the rail, not into the scope. Then I figured you got to adjust the cheek rest. It is adjustable. Probably wondering what this little fin is here. Once you remove these two Allen screws right there, you can easily just push this small black fin upward. And as you can see, the cheek rest will rise, and then you can adjust it to which position you want it in for the most comfort and the best ability to see into the scope. As you can see, if I wanted it there, I'd simply be able to reinsert the screws, tighten them in with the included Allen key, 
and then my cheek rest will be adjusted like this so that I could look through my scope a lot easier. So the adjustable cheek rest is a very, very nice bonus. It's still hard plastic, so it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. It's not like it's coated with rubber or anything. However, it's still very, very nice considering it allows you to get a better view of your scope rather than having a permanently set cheek rest, which is all the way down here when you can't look through that scope. Located directly behind the bolt of the sniper rifle is the gun safety. This is typical. Where you're going to find the safety on most airsoft sniper rifles is located behind the bolt. As you can see, it's a small tab right here sticking up. When it is forced towards the rear of the gun, red dot is covered up. That means the trigger cannot be pulled, gun cannot be fired. However, if you go to switch it towards the front of the gun, red dot is now visible. That means that the gun can be fired, trigger can be pulled, red is dead. When you're off the field, keep the gun on safety. And now for the final conclusion of the TSD SD97 Bolt Action Sniper Rifle Review. If you're looking for a sniper rifle under $200, this may be the gun for you. It's a very, very nice quality. Plastic and metal components, metal barrel, metal rail, metal internals, metal bolt, metal portion of the stock. The rest of it is of a very durable plastic. Whack it against a tree. Nothing's going to fall off. Nothing's going to crack. Very, very solid construction on the gun. Another bonus of this thing is what it includes. It includes not one, but two 22-round magazines. So you're already set. You don't need to go out and buy more unless you really need to. And it also includes a scope. That is the biggest bonus here. It's not a crappy scope either. It's a JBU, great quality scopes, 3 9 by 40 scope. So you don't have to go out and buy one. It also includes the rings in order to mount it, something else you don't got to go out and spend extra money on. The gun's bolt is very, very easy to pull back, despite the gun is shooting over 500 feet per second with 0.2 gram BB. So however, you should be shooting 0.28 or 0.3 in this gun with that high of a velocity. Safety is located right behind the bolt. Very nice position. Stock is adjustable for the length. You can shorten or lengthen it. Very nice advantage considering you can change the cover. It's a little uncomfortable in that short position. It's not something you can't do anything about. You can just adjust it by spinning a metal wheel. The butt of the gun is also covered in a rubber padding. Very, very nice. Very comfortable. And it does have that small rubber tail which really hooks into your BDU and doesn't allow the gun to shake while you're holding it. It also includes the bipod adapter, not the bipod. However, the bipod adapter is an advantage in its own considering you don't have to go out and buy one of them. You just have to buy a bipod. So overall, this gun is very, very nice quality. It's definitely one of my favorite sniper rifles. If I had to pick a sniper under 200 bucks, it would be this. This gun is awesome. It's unique. It's very, very comfortable, especially with that cheek rest. It allows you to get the perfect height to look into your scope. It's a great quality gun from TSD. What are you going to expect? They include all these bonuses, scope, two magazines, great gun, $170, airsoftstation.com. Go ahead and pick it up today. Thank you very much for watching. This has been the TSD SD97 Review by Deathcore Airsoft. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video.